All right, so in our video, we are going to be looking at inverse trigonometry problems. And basically what we mean by inverse trigonometry is I'm going to give you the ratio and I want you to find the angle, okay? And so overall, I'm asking you, what is the angle, okay, that makes the ratio that's given to you, A over B? And so some things I want us to have here at the top part of our notes is our, um, our reference triangles from 30, 60, 90 and 45, 45, 90, okay? And so if we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, then we're going to write 1, 2, root 3 as our reference sides. And if we have a 45, 45, 90, and we're going to write 1, 1, root 2 as our sides, okay? And so I'm looking at this first question here. Sine of x equals root 3 over 2. And again, this question that I'm asking is what angle has this ratio for sine? Now, when I'm looking at my two kinds of triangles here, which one has a root 3 and a 2? This one, right? So this must be the kind of triangle that's creating this ratio. And so I need to figure out, is my answer 30 degrees or 60 degrees for which one's going to have a sine of that angle to be root 3 over 2? So remember, so... Right? So sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So I need root 3 over 2. I'm sorry, I need root 3 alone to be my opposite side. So this must be the sine of 60 degrees that gives me root 3 over 2. So we could say that x is 60 degrees. We could also say that x is pi over 3. Okay. Example 2, it's just different notation, but it's still asking us the same thing. This notation is inverse cosine. That is not the same thing as secant. Okay. It's the inverse cosine function, or it's really saying, if you wanted to rewrite it, which I do, cosine of x that gives me, oops, negative root 2 over 2. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this to that similar number of negative 1 over root 2. Remember, those are the same number, and I'm going to change it to that because I'm going to be able to see that this 45, 45, 90 triangle is what I want to find, okay? And since it's negative, right, all students take calculus. I'm going to look here. And um, whenever we're doing inverse trig problems, you want the angle closest to zero. And since cosine is positive both in both of these quadrants, okay, it's first going to be negative here. We didn't do that in this one. I didn't check that because it was already positive. Okay, but we're going to look in this quadrant because I want the sine of that positive. For sine to be negative, I would have looked in this quadrant here. Again, we want the closest to zero. Okay, and so I'm looking at the numbers that are going to give me an output of one and square root as far as my legs are concerned, right? So that's going to be the cosine of 45 degrees, right? is going to give me 1 over square root of 2. But I don't want 45 degrees. That would give me right here. Okay, I want the one that's going to give me right there. So that would be 90 plus 45, or the cosine of 135 degrees, gives me the answer that I'm looking for. Or, better yet, we would say um, that would be an over 4, so 3 pi over as our final answer. 
and that would be our answer in radians. Okay. All right, our last example that we're going to do together is arc tan. Again, that is the exact same notation, it's just a different representation. You could be given any of these notations and they're all asking you to do the same thing. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. The tangent of what angle gives me one over root three. And again, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And when I'm looking at my ratio here, my one over root threes, I'm going to use again this triangle. Okay. And since it's all the way over there, I'm going to go ahead and redraw it. One, two, root three. Now let's think about this. I need the opposite to be one and I need the adjacent to be root three, right? That's what my tangent ratio is telling me, and so it must be this angle right here. That's the one that must give me one over the square root of three. So that must be the tangent of 30 degrees, and that would be pi over six. Okay, and so there's a bunch of practice problems. Again, if you want to rewrite this as sine of x equals blank, tangent of x equals blank, Okay, and you're looking for just the angle that is closest to zero and your final answers.